We looked it up before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. There's two ways that I look at it. One is going back to... Actually... Um, I think of food sovereignty, um, I think of political sovereignty, I think of cultural sovereignty, intellectual sovereignty. The restoration of the kingdom. The restoration of the kingdom. Fans need to be in control of the government to be able to fully practice their culture without regulations made by non-Hawaiians. Hawaiian sovereignty is being able to do things the way Hawaiians do. Hawaiian lands in Hawaiian hands. It's just a lot. We should, we should have more say in what happens. We shouldn't be just thrown to the side. It shouldn't just be two Hawaiians in a room full of 60 Haole people from around the world deciding what happens to the aina here. It should be us making those decisions. I would be very curious to see um, what sovereignty would bring, and I would encourage it, definitely. I just can't say what it would look like. It's also this thing of cultivating. Cultivating futures grounded in what was, but also grounded in current context and what can be. Um, they're beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. It's not this scary thing to shy away from.